Well, hello everybody. How you doing from the intersection of Fullerton and Lakeview? Lakeview becomes Sheridan as it heads north here from Fullerton. And look at this nice uh, circle they got here. They just added this with the benches here. And we'll walk over to the zoo. And uh, I started live on YouTube just before this. I got kicked off. So we'll try it again. Hopefully people will be able to filter in here. And we got sunshine. It's not actually not a bad day. It's, I thought it was going to be a little cooler today. But uh, we'll, we'll just uh, do my... What I typically do in the morning, we'll do it here at lunchtime. See, we did it. We did it on... Uh, yes, was, was it? Not yesterday. Wednesday, we walked from my work at lunch... To my home and then I'm reversing the whole thing the same thing I worked from home a little bit this morning now I'm heading downtown to the office and then later this afternoon I'm gonna meet my dad at the train station Chanel thanks for tuning in Angel Paula Lindsay thanks everybody for tuning in yeah it's not not too bad of a day here we're here by uh, yeah you know I live over here by Fullerton and Lakeview here and we're gonna head downtown. We'll walk through the zoo. We'll 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 we'll, we'll uh, cruise by the the geese here. We'll see what they're saying here. Hey, Christy, how you doing there? Good afternoon. Hope everybody's having a good Friday. And we had a great walk yesterday. We went to the well. We didn't go in the game. You know, the, you know. Sadly, the White Sox lost their home opener to the Detroit Tigers, one to nothing. But we went there and saw people tailgating, having a good time. Walk through Bridgeport and Pilsen, and we saw the Chicago Fire filming. So it was a good day. If you missed it, I cut out the reruns there, and Bob saw it, and Chris saw it, and some of it, and Paula, and I know some of you, Sharon, and everybody else appreciate it. And we'll keep on trucking here. So, yeah, I'm going to do my walk to the office at lunchtime here. And uh, thanks to everybody here on the Lunch Bunch for joining along here. Yeah, this morning we walked by there. I'm still having funky stuff happen when I get kicked off of lives and stuff. Even It even happened to me on YouTube, so I don't know what's going on. We're running from the hot spot, so hopefully if I, if I lose you on the way, hold tight. We'll come back, and I usually get it going back here. But hey, it's starting to feel like spring. I know maybe tomorrow we might get up to 60. I'm really looking forward to my father coming into town. He's driving up right now. Look, there's people jogging in shorts there. We saw some bird watchers this morning. They were checking out the owls. There was owls, there was owls in the tree over there. We saw that on TikTok this morning. So, Kevin, how you doing there? Mary Therese. Yeah, we're back to walking again. We were walking this morning even. So here, I'll try to get across here without getting run over here. And uh, look at that. They don't have the top down yet, but that's okay. Hey, this tree's starting to bloom here. Hey, he's got the golf club. He's going to the driving range. There's a driving range over there. And uh, we'll cross Lincoln Park West here. Christy, yeah, you saw the owls? That's great. I'm glad you saw that, Christy. Yeah, we saw the owls this morning. Uh, the bird watchers were out. I said, what are you watching? They said, there's three owls up in that tree. I saw two of them. The guy had a major telephoto lens. J-Cat, how you doing there? Yeah, thanks for tuning in. So we'll go past the pretty blue flowers over here. And yeah, if the sun keeps popping out, the squirrels are hopping around. You see those squirrels hopping around? And the uh, dogs, yeah, that dog sees the squirrel. Let's go over, yeah, there's that squirrel. Look at that squirrel. It's coming over, look at it jump around. How you doing there, squirrel? You enjoying this? Yeah. Dodging from tree to tree. Yeah, Sharon and Paula, and we'll go, we'll go by the moor umbrella here the blue flowers yeah I got it messed up before I know Texas has the blue bonnets I guess we got the blue bells and here's the more umbrella what time we got 1206 1206 in the p.m. Chicago time welcome to YouTube yeah that was pure luck I, I, I told people before I planned to walk up Blue Island and go past the fire station. I walked by that fire station many times. 
that's the first time I saw them actually filming for Chicago Fire. And they had all the crew there and the equipment. And uh, they let me walk through there, which is amazing. And then they told me to get out of there because I was still in the shot. I was filming that fake memorial for the person in the show there. There, they're, see, they're cleaning up for getting ready for uh, spring planting here. Hey, Dolores, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, in hindsight, I wish I would have got more footage of the owls. I, I, I could have used that guy's telephoto lens there. I'm sure he got some good photos there. There's the Bell and Stratford. It's looking nice with the blue flowers. Everything tastes better with a blue bonnet on it. Yeah, that's why I get confused because I know, like, when I go to Texas to visit my family that lives down there, I think there's a blue, is it a blue bonnet ice cream or a blue bell ice cream? And I think I always get it confused with the flower. It's like a Freudian slip. Instead of saying blue bonnet, I'll say blue bell because I'm thinking the ice cream. <laughs> but I'm sure you can get it up here, too. Here's the conservatory. Yeah, maybe I'll go to the conservatory with my dad. We'll check out the gnomes. Or I'll at least show him the video. He might just want to watch the video. Hey, they're checking out Billy Shakespeare there, yeah. Yeah, the blue bonnet flower. Yeah, thanks, Christy. Yeah, thanks for the good information here. Here's Billy Shakespeare, how you doing? Yeah, these, these blue flowers here are nice. They just come up every year. They're always a sign of spring here. I, I enjoy it when these blue flowers just pop here. And, uh, yeah, bluebell is some good ice cream, yeah. Yeah, I always enjoy getting a big tub of... You know, I like my ice cream. I know it's not the healthiest stuff, but I try to walk off the calories as much as possible. <laughs> That's the only advantage of putting in 12 miles like we put in yesterday, is I ate me a good dinner and uh, sucked, uh, drank a gallon of lemonade. It was good. <laughs> Briars, yeah, Briars is good. Briars is really good. I, I'll eat Briars any day too. Well, you know, we got Chicago, we got Oberweiss, and then uh, Cincinnati has Graters, Graters ice cream. You know, Briars is a national brand. Pretty good. And there's uh, Lincoln Park Conservatory. There's a lot of people at the conservatory. I guess because it's Good Friday, people going to the flower show, checking out the gnomes. And uh, here, let's walk over past the fountain here. One day they'll turn on this fountain and we'll get to show these planter beds full of flowers. They usually wait until Memorial Day to plant this. Of course, you can go up to the Chicago Botanical Garden up by Skokie Lagoons there. They got some amazing stuff there. Yeah, happy Friday lunch brunch, Krista. And... Uh, Blue Bonnet, yeah, Blue Bonnet. Blue Bonnet butter. Yeah, they make all kinds of dairy products, yeah. It's amazing, these brands, and they get stuck in her head. Hey, the kids are racing. They're, they're doing races. They're tagging the fountain, and they're running down. This is a great place to play croquet. I saw people set up a croquet with the mallets and the balls, and you go through the wickets and stuff, especially with the flowers. And here's this fountain with the... The boys holding, holding the fish there in the, <laughs> the swans or whatever they are. There's the Lincoln Park uh, housing there. Yeah, lots of kids on spring break. Yeah, some of the, my colleagues at work that have family, they're on vacation this week because the kids are off. And I spring breakers in Florida. Any spring breakers in South Padre Island in Texas, I don't know. I know Florida kind of didn't want them at Miami Beach. They went to Fort Lauderdale caused a scuffle there but i saw they had the ultra music fest which is ironic they, they let all the ultra music fest people there and it was just you know after parties at miami beach for all those djs but uh pinball oh pinball was packed last night i'm sure it was yeah that's that's good thursday night's pinball night that's good yeah, everybody's getting ready for the long weekend yeah, John James, thank you. Krista, thanks everybody for saying hello. And we got such a nice community here that tunes in. Look, somebody got their little ball stuck up in the Schiller statue. 
Hey, we'll head right into Lincoln Park Zoo. Now, yeah, I'm not going to check out many of the animals. I'm just going to walk through here. I'm my, I'm walking to work, and it's in the middle of the day. It's nice because it's actually a shortcut for me to walk through here. I have sad news to report from the zoo. The Tara first gave me the scoop. Appreciate that. Uh, the Lincoln Park Zoo had to put down one of their gorillas. She was 29. I think it was her name was Bana, B-A-N-A, Bana, Bana. And, uh, but she had health problems and they just decided to use the nizer. So, uh, I don't know if anybody else has heard that. I did, Tara told me about it and she messaged me, which I appreciate. And then, uh, I got to get ahead of these stories because sometimes people ask me about it and I'm like, I'm all confused. I don't, I don't know what to say, you know, and I don't want to spread misinformation. Look there. They're cleaning the pool. They're cleaning the seal pool. Yeah. Thanks, Michael Anderson. Yeah. So here, welcome to Lincoln Park Zoo. This is the seal pool. We saw the seal. There's the seal over there. So let's do that. Let's 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 go around the back here. We did we did this the other day. It's such a great view when you get up on the back there. See, there's a seal over there. It's by the door. Maybe it's going to go in the door. I don't know. Hopefully it'll stay there by the time we get over here. We'll try to film the seal. One of them's laying up there. I don't know where the other ones are at. You can go down below. We've done that sometimes too. Renee, how you doing there? Yeah. So here, here's the, there's the, see the seal over there? We'll get over there in that corner. Here, there's one swimming right there. There's one right below us. Hey, there's a seal cruising along. Look how graceful they are in the water like torpedoes. Just squirting through there. Yeah, this was the same one that was laying over here the other day. Getting a suntan. How you doing? Yeah. There it is. Look at that. There's the seal. That's a gray seal. So there's harbor seals and gray seals. There's two different types here. Yeah, good time for the zoo. Yeah, you come here in the middle of the day. There's a lot of people here. See, you got these little seating here. There comes one. Look, swimming underneath us there. Yeah. Just relaxing. I'm so fortunate. I live near a free zoo that I can just come over here, walk through here on my way to downtown and say hello to my pals here. <laughs> here, we'll, we'll go out here. Now you come. So we'll keep on trucking. It's always a good time for the zoo. Look at the weeping willow trees. Starting to turn green. We got daffodils. I really hope I don't miss the tulips because I'm going to visit my father for over a week. We're going to do the eclipse at his place because he's going to be in the full shadow there of the solar eclipse that's going to happen on April 8th. Uh, I think they got the reptile house is under construction there. So hopefully that won't take too long. We luckily got in there. We saw the bush babies a couple of weeks ago. There's the daffodils and the lions. We saw the lions out. We got footage of that. It looks like the snow leopard might be out. There's a big crowd here. So let's see if we can catch the snow leopard. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear about the uh, gorilla? Yeah, they had to put down one of the gorillas. It is sad. She was 29. Her name was Bana. Let's see. Where is it at? There it is. It's right there. Let me zoom in here. There's a snow leopard there. Yeah, look at this one. Look at look at this one in the top here. Let's see if I can get it. There's a snow leopard up there. There it is. Wow. It's coming down. Oh, wow. Look at that. There's the snow leopard's Lincoln Park Zoo. Looks like they're eating on something there. Yeah, we got to see the snow leopard come down there. You see that, Renee? Isn't that nice, Dolores? Yeah. There's a bunch of people here. Yeah, the snow leopards, they're not, they're not always out. And uh, I would i would linger longer, but I got to get started. To, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, there's no way I'm going to get downtown by one o'clock. So I got to at least try to make some progress. And that's the good thing about me living near the zoo. 
we might be back over here with my father the week and no guarantee he can't walk as well he's had you know he's, he's up in years and he's got his knee replacement so it depends on what he wants to do we're mainly going to just lounge around my place eat some good food watch some movies and go to some restaurants things like that here you got the uh, pink flamingos yeah some pink flamingos there we go yeah taking nice photos there yeah, so let's look at those out there. There's some out. Yeah, here's some pink flamingos here. They're always they're always fighting there. Look at that. They're always getting at it. <laughs> Welcome to the Lincoln Park Zoo. And look look at the ones out in the water there. Let's see if I can zoom out there. Beautiful. I almost got a head across to this bridge. Let's just go across this bridge. I want to get this view here. Pink flamingos are so nice. We'll we'll go by that uh, weeping willow tree. I, I might not be able to get across the bridge here. If we're, again, welcome to Chicago. Welcome to Lincoln Park Zoo. Look at the beautiful daffodils, different shades of yellow and white. We'll head across this bridge here. This is the Swan Pond. That's what I call it. This, it's, this used to connect with the South Pond, but they closed it off here. So, hey, there's the flamingos. They're, they're wading in the pool. They're heading this way. Here's a little group of pink flamingos wading in the water looking for some fish look at this nice uh, look at the weeping willows there there's a lot of them got those long legs there look at that waterfall and uh, can I get around this way I don't know if I can get around this way let's see if we can get around this way they got it fenced off it looks like they got it fenced off can I get through there? The gate's open. The gate's open. Good. So, yeah, this is this nice little bridge that you can connect over this pond. I think I can get through here. Hopefully it's open on the other side. This is a nice pavilion because they got, in the summertime, they'll have tables out here. And you, you can pick, I, I brought like a picnic lunch and just uh, had a picnic over here. So he, who needs Disney World when you got a free zoo like this? And you can just come by and check out the wildlife. And uh, in this park-like setting here, look at that with the, let's zoom in here. Look at that with the flamingos and the waterfall. Good Friday, look at that, it's a good Friday. Look at that. Yeah, and the, the, the flowers are just amazing here. Look at this weeping willow, it always turns green first. And uh, Sometimes they have a waterfall. That's the flamingo habitat right there where they can go inside. And yeah, we'll head out the other side here. So let's see, we'll head out to Cafe Braher. We'll go see the nice view over the uh, South Pond to the skyline. I know we see it all the time, but Appreciate you being on and checking out the footage here. Yeah, look at these flowers. I'm easily amused. Bavarian gourmet soft pretzels. Yeah, you get the popcorn. In the summertime, they'll have a magician here. They'll have uh, nice uh, bards playing music, singing songs to the kids. It's nice. Yeah, look at this view, this classic view to the Chicago skyline. We got the pink ornamental trees here, the nice reflection in the water. Thanks everybody for tuning in here. Here, let's keep on trucking here. We got 1221. Yeah, the daffodils are really nice this year. Bunches of daffodils. So here we'll head, uh, we'll head this away. Yeah, yeah, John James, thanks for tuning in. That is what we do. So usually at lunchtime, I didn't do it yesterday because we did the White Sox home opener. Thanks for uh, watching on TikTok yesterday. I streamed twice yesterday afternoon. The first one, we went an hour and a half. We got 127,000 likes and then I lost the live. I apologize for that. We were trying to, if I could have kept it going, but it was no way. And uh, the second live, I streamed for almost two and a half hours. We walked from 35th Street 
Chemiskey, guaranteed rate field. We walked through Bridgeport, Pilsen, past the fire station there where they were filming Chicago Fire. There's a geese right there. Goose. <laughs> Cafe Briar. Look at the reflection in the water there. And walked all the way to Little Italy and Greektown, West Loop. Two and a half hours. We've got 200,000 likes. I think that's a personal record of mine. I don't think I've ever gotten over 200,000 likes. Uh, maybe maybe once or twice. I think Anita's keeping track. And uh, thanks everybody for that. So if I would have, if I would, if would have been one continue, we would have had 300,000 likes on YouTube, which would have been amazing. So thanks everybody. And it all still adds up, and I appreciate people. But this this you don't have to tap the screen or nothing for this. This is nice. We can just. Uh, you know, I got some people with moderator rights, which we, if we need to balance people, we can. But usually people are really nice, and we have a much better discourse and conversation here on YouTube. I think it's because it's a smaller audience. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day, Julie. Yeah. Renee, thank you. So it doesn't feel too bad. I'm just wearing a light jacket. Wearing a hat, no gloves, 50 degrees. The sun it feels better in the sun we'll see how nice it gets tomorrow we might get to 60 degrees fahrenheit there's the farm of the zoo across the way we saw the cows on wednesday yeah they're working on this genie gang pavilion look it's got the tarp over it we'll show that to jen you should eat because she was like are they finished with this yet no it's like it's like the more they work on it the more they realize there's more work to be done and uh, hopefully they'll get it open later this summer. Such a nice spot with a picturesque view of the skyline. People take weddings there and yoga and graduation photos, all kinds of things. Yeah, the zoo's nice. Isn't that nice that I can just... It's, it's not a, a huge zoo, but it's pretty nice. And here's here's some of the animals, you, wildlife you could see at the nature bar. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, walking the dog and yeah there's it working on this uh, genie gang structure here iconic uh, architecture yeah the farm in the zoo my dad always laughs he's like you miss the farm you live near the farm in the zoo I'm like, yeah you'll smell the livestock <laughs> hey somebody left their scooter here scooters everywhere yeah, changing the shorts. Hey, 78, that's not bad for Texas. That's good. Yeah, enjoy the spring. Spring comes early in Texas. I'm sure the trees are turning green and flowers. And Yeah, get out there and start enjoying the weekend. That's great. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, we got spring fever here in Chicago, too. Baseball starting. The white, uh, the uh, yeah, we went to the White Sox yesterday. The Cubs will have their home opener on Monday, April Fool's Day. I'm hoping the rain will hold off because I could just cruise up Clark Street, much closer for me to walk, and uh, we can uh, feel the vibe of the crowd there. Hope springs eternal. Don't worry, I'll post those videos of the sun setting over Wrigley Field. I'm waiting to this weekend because I want to, people to see those when I when I live stream because usually people get fed the last video and so I want the Cubs fans to see that, that we saw the sun setting over top of Wrigley Field for this, the Wrigley, the Wrigley Field hinge, that's what Terror somebody else wrote there and it was a good, uh, good call there, there's Grant on his horse there, Ulysses, that's Grant, and uh, and we'll head by the South Pond here. Yeah, happy Good Friday. You're going to Dallas to visit your family? Oh, the Eclipse, that's right. Yeah, the Rangers. I said, yeah, the Rangers beat the Cubs. That was a that was an amazing game last night. Went to extra innings. The Cubs almost had a grand slam in extra innings, and it just missed the foul pole by feet, if not inches. And uh, Rangers were able to have a walk-off win. But... Uh, yeah, Dallas is going to be in the Eclipse, Austin. It's going to run diagonally up to towards Indianapolis. And that's the Eclipse on April 8th. 68 in South Carolina. Yeah, that was a good game. Virginia is nice, too. Yeah, Richmond. Richmond's nice. Yeah. 
Let's see. South Carolina. Hampton. Hey, that's good. Everybody's tuning in from all over the country. That's great. Yeah, the Blue Bonnets. Yeah, the Blue Bonnets of Texas. I know that's a big thing. We were talking about those. I kept getting confused with Blue Bells, but it's Blue Bonnets. They, uh, although there's you know, the pastures and open land in Texas, you can see the Blue Bonnets this time of year. There, there's a dog stalking a squirrel. Look at it. It's going. Yeah, see, the, the squirrels, they just toy with the dogs. There's no way. See, it's trying to get that squirrel over there. It's already almost over to that tree. It's trying to sneak up on it. There's some dogs running over here. Here's the Garibaldi monument. And we're in Lincoln Park, Chicago. Heading towards the Gold Coast, walking downtown. We got the Still got a few things there. People were sending me emails this morning. I'm like, man, people are working harder on Good Friday than they work the rest of the week. I guess everybody saved everything to Friday. I don't get the day off. We only get about six paid holidays. This isn't corporate America great, but we get we get we get a lot of weeks of vacation. You know, that's, I, I I take advantage of that. But here we'll uh, head past the little blackbirds over here. Nobody's at the ball fields today, but they'll probably be starting this week and leagues will be starting up. Yeah, Calgary, Alberta. Thanks, D. Uh, D. Blaze. Yeah, that's great. Get some pizza. Yeah. Angel's working. Yeah, some of us got to work. You got a new herb garden, LLL. That's great. Picked up some dill. Make some pizza dough. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, make some dill dough. Or <laughs> you got me. You got me. You got me. Yeah, see now I'm gonna get banned from uh, now I'm gonna get banned from uh, YouTube. You suckered me into the saying it there. That's good. <laughs> Was that intentional? Are you a troll? LOL. Did, did you see that, Chris? <laughs> oh, the perils of live streaming are legion. We can laugh about it. That was a good one. You suckered me right into it. I never recognized your name before, and. They, they got me to say a dirty word, so congratulations, you win the prize today. Here's the, here's the lemon tree. See, so I'll think of the lemon tree when I think of you, LLL. -L. That's great. Triple lemon, that's what we'll call you. You saw it coming? Yeah. That's good. See, this is, isn't the internet great? You know, we can send people to space and billionaires and artificial intelligence. Do you think artificial intelligence will get jokes like that? You know, we, we can trick artificial intelligence into saying dirty words, and then the artificial intelligence will be all confused, just like me. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the three R's. We'll do the three the three F's. If we're not fornicating, if we're not uh, if you're not feeding me, I learned this from Grim Evil, and uh, if you're not financing me, your opinion. It's low on the priority list. <laughs> you gotta hop to it. <laughs> yeah, my refrigerator's running. <laughs> the three F's, yeah, the three F's. You know, I, you know, I, I, I would, I, you know, it's the, the air is human, and I do it all the time. You know, when I first started doing this, Sarah saw it a mile away a year ago. I would get all angry and start yelling at people in the comments and they were just, you know, laughing at me the whole way because that was the game. And just see, see if you can get me angry. And then you realize, you know, that's a lot of what it is. People just like, they're bored. They're like, hey, let's mess with this guy. Let's see what we can get him to do. And uh, they do it to everybody. So we're in good company. Yeah, Kevin, is Anna Rob is Anna Rob back on TikTok? I, I think she got a temporary suspension. Hopefully, she'll be back. See, that happens. That's the perils of live streaming. The longer you live stream, eventually something will trip up the algorithm. It might be a mistake. It happened to Vic Cohen. You know, Vic Cohen has, like, the cleanest, nicest content. And even he got a week suspension. He got his account back, but we were afraid he was going to lose it. I lost my original one. And people probably considered it a victory. They were like, good, we got that guy off the air. 
spreading positive comment content about Chicago. We can't have that. We only can have negative content. You know. <laughs> I have negative content sometimes. Usually it's what I say is negative. <laughs> I'm not really I'm, I'm really a pessimist. People don't understand that. Four three, so so wow. So Anna Rob, she live streams in Detroit. She's she's got a week suspension the way it sounds. And so she can't go back live until April the 3rd. Yeah, it happens. I feel for her. I'm sure she appealed it. And they, they, you, you, you appeal it and they, they tell you nothing. They, they don't tell you what you did wrong. They don't tell you what not to do again. They're like, just follow our terms and conditions, which always change. There's a million terms and conditions. It's like you have to hire a lawyer, you know, and they really, they don't care. Really, they, TikTok does not give a flying F about you know they just know people will start another account and then you got to work to build it over a thousand followers you know and then they they make money off you again so uh i don't really don't think artificial intelligence will care all they'll program artificial intelligence to just just to send the money to jeff bezos and tim cook and send the money to elon musk these people it's like they're creating god and god's making money for them that's what artificial intelligence is. <laughs> and that's why it's so, see, people, people are investing in it. You can invest in God. Imagine that. God running the stock market. 100% guaranteed profits. You know, you can't lose. Can't bet against it. And uh, someday we're going to eat these billionaires and they're going to taste nasty. They're not even going to taste good. <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat Jeff Bezos, I'll tell you that. Even if I was starving. Yeah, I see a huge dog. Yeah, got nice dogs all around. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Now we're by the Standing Lincoln, Honest Abe Bear. You know where we're at here. They plant this garden too. It's just kind of uh, naturalistic. Yeah, but there's the Standing Lincoln statue, Lincoln Park, Chicago. Old Honest Abe. So we'll just head. I want to. I want to go on this side. I want to go on this side. Here's the uh, history. Historical Society of Chicago, the History Museum. Yeah. Hey, J Cat. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Well, at least we're getting new people to tune into the lives. We're starting to get trolls, which is, that means we're, I'm starting to get new people, which is good. <laughs> YouTube just doesn't push the live streams like TikTok. YouTube, you have to grow so slowly. People post, you know, Christopher Dotson, he has great content. He has over 600 videos. TikTok will not push his live streams. Or not TikTok, YouTube will not push his live streams. It's just, YouTube, it's just for like polished, studio quality stuff. They don't want this organic on the fly stuff. Now I understand what Darren Monroe always talked about, how TikTok's more organic. YouTube's like the stodgy engineer that wants everything perfect. And that's probably because that's who developed their algorithm. <laughs> but uh, hey, we'll walk down Dearborn Street. We could walk down Astor. Yeah, let's walk down Astor. And then we can uh, dodge over that way. We'll get some content of Astor Street on YouTube. I went up, I went up uh, Dearborn on Wednesday, so we already got some content of Dearborn Street on Wednesday, the noon walk. So we'll get, we'll go to Astor Street here. Yeah, I I usually do the walk in the morning because it's my commute to work. Bear with me, I'm, I won't be streaming as much when I'm at my father's place. And thanks for giving me some downtime. I'll try to work some things in there. It'll be sporadic. But when I get back to Chicago and get in my routine, we'll be, we'll be streaming on TikTok in the mornings. Every morning, my usual schedule between 7 and 8. Sometimes I start a little earlier. And I know people, I appreciate people tuning in. Amazingly, that's usually when I get my biggest audience in the morning. And according to TikTok statistics... That's when the least people watch TikTok, which is fine with me because that's when the strolls are usually asleep. But 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 they're all over the world, you know, different time zones tune in. 
good thing about it when I'm in the morning, people in Australia can watch me. People in Europe can watch me. Because Australia, it's already the next... It's already like in the evening. It's like late at night, like midnight. And uh, Asia, all the way to Europe and Africa, it's, it's later in the day. So people tune in. And then people in North and South America. It's just, it just hurts Hawaii, which is still sleeping. And California, it's too early for California. Hey, pug, pup, pug puppy for sale. You want a pug? There you go. Hey, he's selling some pugs. But here's the uh, Archbishop's residence. We'll go right by it here. There's State Street. There's the uh, State and North Avenue, 1550, whatever they call it. Yeah, 1550 North State Street. Here's the Archbishop's residence. 19 chimneys. Nah, the pugs win. Pugs are so cute. You ever see those parades where the people got the pugs in in their strollers and they're pushing them and they got them all dressed up and they look like little, they look like little, little uh, baby Yodas, you know. <laughs> look at the, here's the Archbishop's residence, uh, North Avenue and State between State and Astor. Of course, this is the Archdiocese of the Catholic Church. Cardinal George used to live here, but I think Cardinal Supich lives down by the Holy Name. And they still use it for their offices. 19 chimneys. This is like our Dalton Abbey. And uh, it's a beautiful estate here. The lake's right over there. You can see it under the bridge there. Beautiful lake. And uh, we'll head down Astor Street. And the nose sold separately. <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Dia. Thanks for uh, watching in the morning there. It's good. Yeah, thanks, Sharon. Thanks for understanding. Yeah, the family comes first. I want to spend time with my father when he's here. I don't want the live streaming to be a uh, get between me and my dad. You know, it, 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 I tried to work it in when we were traveling. He, it, like, I would I would have got annoyed by it too. You know, he gets tired of hearing my voice. And, you know, <laughs> I get tired of hearing my voice too. Here's the, uh, here's the, uh, Archbishop's residence. We'll go by the Wooden Alley here. We're, we're heading down Astor Street. We got 1239 Chicago time. Thanks for tuning in here. We're going through the Gold Coast now. They're loading up the car. Yeah. And, uh, look at that back porch there. Yeah, no, I, I, I get your question, J-Cat. You're right, because J.B. Prisker, the governor of illinois lives right over here and i think they own some of that stuff too or their family does the prisker family yeah you're exactly right they built this in the 1880s it's a grand mansion it shows you the wealth of the catholic church at least at that time to build this this used to be a catholic cemetery and they built this it's still the same use it was it was, it was always the archbishop's residence and then they have this coach house in the back I, i've seen nuns and other people come out of that thing and here's the wooden alley and uh, it runs in between state and Astro here south of North Avenue the wooden alley built in 1909 restored in 2011 we talk about this and there's many people have TikToks on you see it's see the wood block there see the wood block it's on the it's on the end so you can see the grain sideways there Yeah, the higher up, it's a. Yeah, I'm Brian. Brian Ray, Chicago. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. See, look, people walking the dogs and saying hello. Yeah, it's a whole ranking system. I mean, look at look at the Vatican. I mean, look how much wealth. And that's why you know Vatican City. It's its own country. It was able to, when Italy formed, and there's other little countries like San Marino, and of course Monaco these little leftovers from the feudal area here but the yeah they didn't mess with the vatican <laughs> and uh goes back to the roman empire look at that yeah they got the gate there they're cleaning in there yeah this is the one of the mccormick mansions here and of course they broke it up to several residents you can live in different floors there's different units in it. they did the same thing to the original playboy mansion but yeah jb pritzker lives in one of these i'm not exactly sure which one He's the governor of Illinois. His sister, Penny, who was the Commerce Secretary under the Obama administration, she lives in Lincoln Park. She lives over on Orchard or Burling or one of those streets. I'm not exactly sure. Look at the, yeah, I see the backside of those tall buildings. 
Lake Michigan's right over there. We're going down Astor Street and such beautiful housing all along here. That's why I want to showcase it in 720p. Astor Street's one of my favorite streets in the Gold Coast. And it's one way, so it's not much traffic. Yeah, pup pup fans. Thanks for the good information, Chris. Look at that. So look at this building, four, four, 1444. Look how elegant that is. The nice, just simple almond windows and uh, nice porches. This thing's always for sale. This thing's been sale for sale for the entire time I've been living in Chicago. But uh, look at that double lot, Astor Street, Gold Coast, Chicago. Yeah, you go to Sotheby's there. See how much you're selling that thing for. Nice porches. Look at that roof here. Yeah, there's many McCormick houses. What happened? And then the same thing happened with the Vanderbilts, Vanderbilts and the Roosevelts. The original father that created the McCormick Reaper and created the family fortune by selling not just the Reaper, but farm implements, other things. Their, their, their kids, their heirs, actually were wealthier than the parents and they went on a buying spree and they bought up a bunch of houses after they were built here louise de coven bowen social reformer yeah hall house you worked with the hall house that's great here they got these nice uh historical markers all throughout these neighborhoods but look at that look at these beautiful houses along astor street gold coast chicago got some artwork yeah it's all haunted everything's haunted <laughs> the ghost of christmas past <laughs> Look at these houses here. These are these are nice here. Yeah, some of the other McCormick houses are, you know, where the cable house is. That's uh, it's on Wabash near the uh, temporary casino there. It's right across from the Dree House Museum. Uh, the McCormicks bought that, but Cable was the one that built it. He was a railroad baron, just like. Charnley, this is called the Charnley Persky House. Charnley was a lumber baron. <laughs> All these, you know, in the 1800s, they made money selling lumber or building railroads or stockyards or Armour Swift, McCormick Reaper, Sears Roebuck. All these fortunes that were made in Chicago because we were the industrial manufacturing city for the central part of America. So everything would come here to be processed on the railroads like lumber. And then they would ship it back out. That's why we created the commodities exchange. All these commodities were exchanged, including wood, lumber, pigs, hogs, corn, soybeans. You get the agribusiness report. Set the prices there at the Board of Trade. Futures market. Look at, this is the uh, Charlie Persky house. And uh, you can tour this thing on Wednesdays. This is Louis Sullivan. And Frank Lloyd Wright worked as an apprentice for Louis Sullivan when they built this this is 1892 the year before the world's columbian exposition look at this one here that's right on schiller and uh, this one this, i mean look at the size of all these houses i mean this one has a ballroom on the top you can rent it for seven thousand dollars it's called astor court and uh they always decorate it so nice they got the easter look they got the easter stuff out in those urns and then you got these apartment houses you, look at this balconies uh. Here we'll go down Astor Street. Thanks, Elgar. El Eldar? Eldar, Eldar. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'm sure you could come to Chicago and do a haunted Chicago. You could do an untouchable tic tac. <laughs> yeah, someone was telling me about the Astor House. It's in this, it's in this modernist building on the side. I'll show it to you, but it's a private club. I have to be invited in there, and they probably wouldn't want me to film in there anyway show how the other half lives here's uh but we'll go past these look at this trees starting to bud out here where it banks and astor gold coast chicago it's no fun unless the place is haunted yeah <laughs> you see dead people <laughs> the sixth sense there's amazon ruining the world but i don't i don't you know i don't blame people that's good jobs the world has changed someone moving my cheese and i don't like it 
There's a uh, look at these look at these housing here. There's beautiful porches. I'm just gonna film the porches here. Look at the look at the detailing around those arches and the stone facades here. And underneath the turret there, look at that. It's classic brownstones, gray stones. See, all these are for sale. Eventually, housing is going to get so expensive that no one will be able to afford the taxes on it, and that's what that's what that's what happened to some like the Biltmore Mansion in North Carolina. The Vanderbilts had to sell it because they had so much land, and they they acquired all that before there was income tax or before there was property taxes, and so and the, 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 everything shifted. And uh, there's now there's you know same the California houses, some of the mansions in Bel Air and Beverly Hills have the same problem. So you see where that security guard's sitting. You see that little building back there? There's a door. There's a club in the basement. And you would never think that there's a club underneath there. It's called the Astor Club or something. And back in the day, like Frank Sinatra, the Rat Pack, would go down there famous. You know, they, a lot of famous people used to come over to the pump room over there. And when the Playboy Mansion was going, they would go in and hang down there, you know. And it was a secret members-only club underneath this building with the tall stilts here. This modernist building in Astor. Yeah. Oh, the details. Yeah, the details. God's in the details. That's what... Uh, and isn't it so funny that Mies van der Rohe said that and he didn't put any details at all in his building except for Mullion's <laughs> graph paper buildings. But, yeah, I, that's why I, I really enjoy the craftsmanship and that, that any of that stuff was built at all and still exists. Like, even like just like that window there. Was that a dormer? What do they call it? I mean, you know, just simple arch here, but you know, ornamentation, formality of space. Eye candy. Look at it pop here. Yeah, lottery houses. You're right. You would. Yeah, sadly, someone won that billion dollar lottery. And uh, these lotteries just keep getting bigger and bigger. Look at they got nice flowers on that. And look how the steps are worn. Yeah. Well, here there'll be a really nice view of the John Hancock coming up here. We'll get we're down at Scott and Astor heading into work here. The sun makes everything look so much nicer. These state streets that way. Scott and Astor, the lake, the lake, you see Lake Michigan over there? That's why all the tall buildings are the ones at the front. It's Abelacher Drive. And here's the look that the, the, the trees are popping. It's not even April. It's not even April, and the trees in Chicago are turning green. And look at this view. You get to the John Hancock. Look at it emerge under that pole, that light pole. And you got the nice low townhomes there on Division Street. And then you got this end of the Astor Street, the southern end of Astor Street. Because Astor Street only goes about four blocks, six, four to six blocks here in the gold coast it doesn't go anywhere else in the city named after john jacob astor from new york he never came to chicago but i think he invested in real estate here <laughs> as a lot of new york money did at that time look at uh it was all speculation it was the bitcoin of the time and uh hey welcome to chicago so we'll head over division we'll go over to rush street we'll, we'll angle over yeah lottery houses here we'll take a right we'll keep heading south here 1250 see there's no way I took too much time at the zoo but here look at that gas lights gas light sconces there on either side of the door yeah the, I, I noticed that too that on the, in, in the movie the Titanic there was a dapper looking gentleman that was you know part of the first class passengers called his name was Astor I think that was a true person I think he died with the Atlantic don't quote me on that and he was like I think he was a descendant he was either a grandson a son or a grand probably a grandson or great-grandson of John Jacob Astor because he lived he, the, 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 the original Astor that created that wealth immigrated from Germany in the 1700s and moved to New York City and uh, made a fortune in fur trading. <laughs> I 
at Chino and uh, look him up. He actually was in, in part of the opium wars in China, made a fortune off of selling opium to Hong Kong. I'm not joking. But then he got out of it because he realized he was losing respect because he was pay, pretty much just a drug dealer. <laughs> it destabilized China, but a lot of colonial ism caused that in other areas of the world too but here's uh we'll head over to state street and division here come some sirens john jacob it's on the titanic wow that's good so he might he might have been the same even though he was a grandson, he had the same name. They, you know, they, they do that with areas like John the Third or something. You know, yeah, he had the same name as his ancestor. And uh, at least, even though he was wealthy, he was he went down with the ship like the captain. You know, there's sirens converging on us. I wonder what's happening here. So we just turned south on State Street. Here comes a police car. Heading that way, so I'll head this way. <laughs> look at the, look at the bottom of this building. This is a nice building here on State Street at Elm. The hangy uppies on the other side of it. It's got a nice top to it. The bottom here is kind of neat with the green detailing. So this is where Rush Street breaks off from State Street, creates Mariano Park. There's the Cologne Coffee, La Cologne. Right across the street here, and there you go. Hey, people are biking. Yeah, the hangy uppies right down there. This used to be the bookstore, and there's Lou Malnati's. You know exactly where we're at. We go by here all the time. But it looks nice in the sun. Eighteen sixty-four, Rhinebeck Village. Well, that must have been a different. See, I'll, I'll let me let me look up let me look up the John Jacob Astor I'm actually talking about with the fur trading here. I got a text message. Let me make sure it's not my father here texting me. Hold on a second here. I gotta check the second phone here. Oh, I got a message from the Cubs. That's because we got those free tickets and I had to sign up for the uh, app there. That's what was going on here. But here, let me let me look up John Jacob Astor so I'm not talking out of my rear end here. There, John Jacob Astor. So there was John Jacob Astor the fourth. That was John Jacob Astor the fourth. Now, if you look at him, there's the original John Jacob Astor was born in 1763 and he died in 1848. So that was his grandfather or great grandfather, probably his grandfather. And he was had the same name. So there was a John Jacob Astor that probably died on the Titanic. I think that's the one you're referring to. And then, but the original one that made the fortune in fur trading in the opium wars that I'm talking about was was uh, an ancestor of that guy. And it shows you just like the Vanderbilts, the Rockefellers, the McCormicks. It created this vast wealth. Even the, the heirs of the Marshall Field family, they they were philanthropists as well because you know they invest, they diversified. You know. <laughs> I would like to know what it's like. There's Mar there's Mariana Park. And uh, here we'll go by Bellevue. But hey, thanks for looking that up, Julie. That's great. Good information. Yeah. 87 million. And if you adjust that for inflation, it was it was worth like a billion dollars today or 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 like no, it, it's like 10 billion. So they 84 million dollars in the early 1800s they were as wealthy he was equivalently as wealthy as jeff bezos and elon musk but elon musk fluctuate his his well well all his stock so it fluctuates so much elon musk is no longer the richest person in the world because it, the value of tesla stock has dropped recently and that's what his wealth's tied to and he you know but uh of course and that's why he, that's why he's asking for a raise Here's, uh, here's some asphalt. Yeah, we remember where they've been working on this. This is Rush Street. They've been working on the water pipes here. It smells like asphalt really heavily here, but they're 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 not working on Good Friday. So uh, I guess because it's a city job. <laughs> 
Yeah, the rich get rich. Yeah, you know, it's this, you know, positive, negative is everything, even capitalism. I know it's the best system we got, but it's not perfect. And socialism is not the answer either. I know it. Socialism solves some problems, creates other problems. That's the problem. <laughs> and uh, Eric Prada will promote these ultra-rich brands here. I want to get across the street here before the light changes here. And we just crossed uh, Oak Street. There's the Esquire Theater. Yeah. So here we'll head down Rush Street here. We'll continue. 1257. Look at that. Yeah, look at this nice window display for Hermes. Hermes. <laughs> I like it. There, look at that outfit. Yeah, the, even the dog, even the dog. I wonder how much that costs for the dog. <laughs> some wealthy dogs. This is a joke. I like women. I like dating women. But one time I dated a woman and her family was much more wealthier than ours. She had a debutante coming out ball and everything and I was batting way above my batting average there and so but we had a we had a good time while it lasted but she got a Portuguese water dog and then I realized where I fit into the relationship it was her the dog and then I was somewhere beneath the dog and we we uh, I felt jealous of the dog in the relationship so it didn't last long but maybe I deserved it yeah. you know I, I was just another pet I think is what it was and until I stopped amusing her, she was going to get rid of me anyway. So it was fun while it lasted. There, look at the look at the uh, Trump building. You can look straight down Wabash. This nice vista here. Look, middle of the day. It's, it's people are off work here, so there's some people. There's more people at lunchtime here on Astor Street than we see in the morning. So it's nice to see crowds here. Well, it happens. I'm sure she has a lot to complain about me too. So I'm not perfect. There's probably a reason I'm still a bachelor. <laughs> I got many flaws. Just ask the people I've dated. <laughs> they could tell you a whole different side to my personality, which some of my moderators have seen. <laughs> but here, we'll fall in the line here. Merging back into traffic here. Thank you. And uh, here, we'll go around this way. Here we go. The sidewalk's not wide enough. There, we, we're going by the Tesla store. I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, filming that cyber truck because now it's like the cyber truck's becoming a joke people are showing how the the, the cord the, if you stick your finger in the doors it'll chop your finger off you know i know it's a sturdy car but the the, the safety things it would like chop the carrot <laughs> which represents your finger so don't get your finger stuck in a cyber truck door it'll lop them off <laughs> you keep messing keep getting messages from boat buying to donate Aren't we tired of, of all this money? I still blame I still blame the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, you know, they proved they, they they ruled Citizens United that money's free speech. So there's no way we're gonna compete with corporate lobbying. There's no way we're gonna compete with millionaires being able to donate all this dark money that goes into elections. Whatever you and I can donate is just a drop in the bucket. And if we call, they're not gonna pick up the phone, but if General Motors calls or Amazon calls, they pick up the phone and say, hey, what do you need? Because Jeff Bezos contributes to both parties. Because no matter who gets elected, they answer the call when he asks for a tax break or something, you know? And that's America. So that's what we're all frustrated with, both parties. I'm on the left and I'm frustrated with it. I share some of the same frustrations that the right has too. Isn't that interesting? And uh, we just we just we just choose to blame different people for our same problems. Instead of blaming the Fed and the Supreme Court, we blame the Democrats and the Republicans. But it's all part of the same system, and there's no other choice. There's no other choice, you know. I give you two candidates that a lot of people aren't excited about either of them, and it's you, usually you vote against the person you just you know the, the, you despise one more than the other. So it is, that's what it becomes. Is that a choice? Is that a choice? You know, you got to eat broccoli or you got to eat asparagus. What if you don't like broccoli or asparagus? That's the only choice you get. And that's what, you know, I wonder so many people don't participate in elections. But uh, hey, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Chicago. We'll head down rest. We'll go over and check out the water tower and get some good footage here on YouTube. Yeah, there's the uh, Bentley Gold Coast. 
Lamborghinis. They had a Ferrari sitting out there. We, we got it Wednesday, I think, on YouTube. Yeah, more like vapor. Yeah, it's more like uh, just little drops of vapor. You got a request. You got a request from Elon Musk. That's good. Thanks for not accepting that, Emory. Yeah, I, I. There's a reason I'm not on X. You know, X formerly known as Twitter. Zodiac signs. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you my zodiac sign to maybe see what you can tell about me. I'm, I'm an Aquarius. The age of Aquarius. Of course, of course, I'd be a hippie. You know, I was born after the dawning of the age of Aquarius. During the age of Aquarius, and I'm an Aquarius. But we, you know, I didn't get any, I didn't get any good luck from it. I guess, you know, at least, you know, I'm not, I'm not as wealthy as those other people were talking about. <laughs> I'm a hippie. I don't understand money. I want to join the commune here. But here, look at the, we got some wind here. Here's the uh, water tower, Chicago. Yeah, look at that. There's the John Hancock, the Ritz Carlton. We'll head down Michigan Avenue, see what, Looks like on Good Friday, 2024, the weekend before Easter weekend, into March. Lousy March weather. We went to the White Sox home opener yesterday. We'll do the Cubs on Monday. Weather, weather permitting. There's rain forecast for Monday. There's the uh, Great Water Tower. Survived the 1871 Great Chicago Fire. And we went by the Church of the Holy Family there with the uh, school there and uh, that, that survived the Great Chicago Fire. The building says 1869 which was two years before. The same as this. 1869 was when that was built. And, uh, yeah, free thinkers. You gotta society always makes you conform. You can't, you can't think outside. They say think outside the box. You think outside the box they want to put you back in the box. The, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. That's like a communist mantra. Don't stand out. You know, but I'm, I'm thankful that Americans still have American individualism. We reject that. We conform out of out of uh, principle. We, we, we non-conform out of principle. <laughs> we'll, we'll go the opposite way. You can go your own way, just like Fleetwood Mac. Look at that. Look at the, that's the peninsula. Hey, look at these crowds here on Chicago and Michigan Avenue. Head down the Mag Mile here. Yeah, see people got some nice outfits here. I like it. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac. Old Stevie Nicks, how's she doing? Look at that. Yeah, the Fleetwood was the, 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 the guy. What was his name? I forget his first name. The flamenco dancer. <laughs> the blueprint for the box. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you got caught. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that, look! Look at Michigan Avenue. It's looking nice. So hopefully, I won't turn off the comments. I'm going to zoom in here. Let's zoom into the crowd here. Look at that. So if I if I if I move my stick up, let's see if I can pan down a little bit. There we go. That's what. There's Michigan Avenue. Look at the crowds on Michigan Avenue here. So we got the whole spring and summer ahead of us here. It's nice to see people out and about here in the middle of the day here. We got 105 in the PM. And look at these. Uh, let me pan back out here. See, can I pan back out? It won't let me. There it goes. The zoom's different on Streamlabs. It's just different. Oops. So here's... Uh, Gino's East is down there. I guess I will zoom in for that. Yeah, nice friendly crowd. There's Gino's East Pizzeria. The original Gino's was on uh, Rush Street. We went. We actually went by it. They tore it down. It's where the Lululemon is. And there's Rosebud and Giordano's is over there. And Neiman Marcus is right here. Hey, we got the light. It's brick crossing. Yeah, people, kids are on shoulders and. We're swimming against the stream, babies. Oh yeah, cute. So the daffodils, I'm really afraid I'm gonna miss the daffodils because they they bloom all at once and they're probably gonna hit right when the eclipse is happening, which I'm gonna be in my father's house. Now I'll be back later that week. Hopefully we'll still I'll still be able to film the tulips blooming. 
but they're earlier this year. They usually don't bloom until the middle of April, but I got a feeling they're gonna bloom at the beginning of April, the way they're popping out of the ground here. So we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. Yeah, great Friday crowd. Mick Fleetwood, Mick Fleetwood, thank you. Thanks for helping me out. You know, I, I, I used to pride myself on having a good memory, but the, the, the older I get and the more I live stream, I just cannot remember some things. You know, it's just, I cram so much in my head and then it forces other stuff out. It's just the way it is. But I guess we, we all rely on the internet. I mean, I'm usually just looking stuff up. Well, here, we'll head across the street here. We get the light here. I guess they got the left turn here. Michigan Avenue, here we go. So there, there's the great view looking up Michigan Avenue. We'll go over this way. Look at that. Water Tower and John Hancock, and Zara. So there's the back of St. James Cathedral. We go by that. That's over on Wabash. We'll cross right here once we. Uh, I think they got the left turn light there, so we'll wait. I could run across, but as soon as I go, that car's going to turn. Oop. There we go, we got the light. Yeah, look at this crowd. Friday crowd here. We're on the shadow side of the street, that's okay. So we'll go by this giant vacant mall that seems to be getting a lot of traction. I saw it, it shows you how people can make misleading TikToks so easily. We saw one where somebody crawled in a, a hatch by the Sears Tower and it looked like they were going underground and then they, then they popped up inside this building and act like it was underground and it wasn't, you know, and the people believe it. And then they start talking about Tartarian architecture and stuff and I'm like, it shows you we're in the post-truth world. It's hard to tell what's real and what's not real anymore. Deep fakes, misinformation, you know, you, you can't believe your eyes anymore and it's just the, the nature of it. You know, here's the giant Starbucks, here's the four-story Starbucks here on Michigan Avenue. That's a nice hat. Hey, we're crossing. Well, thanks for staying on. I know it's, it's longer than I usually stream on lunchtime, but we're getting close. We'll get you to the Chicago River at least, as we usually do. We got 109 here. See, Michigan Avenue has a slight elevation there, and you can zoom in and get this long shot here of the crowds here. It's like Midnight Cowboy in New York. You know, the big wide streets of Fifth Avenue or something. That's what we got here on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. People watching. It's great for people watching. So we'll probably cross the street here again. So let me pan back out there. You can smell the picture, yeah. Smell a vision. <laughs> yeah, we'll cross right here in Ontario. We'll go to the Burberry. Orvis. See, we're getting the bright sunshine of mid-September. But it's, it's a little cooler at the end of March. Good Friday. The horns never cease. The horns never cease. Hey, that's okay. You're never late or early, Crystal Blue Funk. Thanks for tuning in. You can watch the whole live rerun. We just started at the zoo. There's some bubbles. There's some bubbles going on. We, we walked through uh, Astro Street in the Gold Coast. There's the bubble machine. Yeah, this guy. I've seen this guy before. He's He's got the bubbles here. See, spreading joy through bubbles. That's great. Uh, we'll head across. Oh. That's why last week it was snowing. I think, was that last Friday? And I thought it was bubbles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Julie, thanks for uh, saying hello. And Crystal Blue Funk, how's things going in Memphis there? Yeah. We got sunshine here. We got 50, 50 degrees. It's not too bad. We went to the White Sox home opener yesterday down at Sox Park. And we'll, we'll go by La Katrina. I got a fetish for La Katrina. 
Diaz de los Muertos, Mexican Day of the Dead statue here. She looks great. Right in front of Cloris Mexicanos. And uh, hey, we got the light here, so let's cross Ohio Street. We'll head towards the river here. But I'm heading to work. I'm going to meet my father later this afternoon. He's coming in on the train there. Oh, and then uh, I won't I won't be on TikTok tonight because I'm going to spend time with my father. Thanks for giving me some time to spend with family. I hope everybody else can do the same over this nice uh, weekend. And uh, there's noticeably more people on the Michigan Avenue today since I think a lot of people got the day off today. So, uh, sunshine in the 70s. That's great. I'm happy to hear. I bet the the trees and the flowers are blooming there. I remember going, there's, you know, you got beautiful parks there along the Mississippi. There's like that island where the, the, the bridge that goes out there just like by the pyramid there in Memphis. And it's just beautiful there by the Mississippi. You can see that bridge. And of course you got Beale Street area, the trolleys. And uh, Memphis is a nice town. But uh, here we'll... Uh, We'll head, uh, we'll cross Illinois Street. There's the Nordstrom across the way. There, Navy Piers that way, Streeterville. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the time with Dad. We're just gonna stuff her face, lay around, go nowhere, get fat, span time. And he's like, he's like, don't make me walk a lot. I said, okay, we'll still stay close to home. I always, Poor guy. Hey, they're taking a group photo here. So, hey, there's the whole the whole group right here. They're looking good here. Yeah, I don't know what the Excel is. Hey, there's somebody somebody photo bombed the back there. <laughs> You're in front of the Intercontinental Hotel. This is the Intercontinental Hotel. I guess everybody who's staying here. How you doing? We'll go right by uh, Michael Jordan's restaurant, Intercontinental Hotel here, Chicago, Michigan Avenue. It's looking nice. There it is, Michael Jordan Steakhouse. Look at that door. And I don't know what this is, Casa Chi. Opening soon, open, open in April. So here we'll, uh, we won't cross the street, we'll stay on this side. And we'll head across the bridge here. Illinois, Michigan Avenue. Yeah, go to Memphis. Memphis is nice. You don't even have to like Elvis. You know, they, there's so much other stuff that happened in Memphis. Go see BB Kings there on Beale Street. Get some get some get some ribs. Get some ribs in Memphis. Go see the Ducks. They, they go to the go to the Peabody Hotel. You can stay at the Peabody Hotel and every day they march the Ducks out. It's in Memphis. It's a beautiful hotel downtown Memphis. And they got a fountain in the lobby. And the, the Ducks I think live on the roof and every day in the morning they, or they bring down the ducks, they come down the elevator, they march them, people line up. I've done it years ago. It'd be a beautiful live streaming thing. The, the ducks, they march and they, they march right to the fountain all day long. They swim in that fountain where you check in. And at night, they walk back to the elevator and they go up to the top, the Peabody Hotel in Memphis. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you can visit Crystal. She'll show you around. And, uh, Take Kevin, yeah, take Kevin. Kevin Kevin loves the ducks. Kevin's an expert on ducks. So yeah, Kevin's gotta go to Memphis. Go to the Peabody Hotel, I agree. I don't know what's going on over there. Somebody making an announcement. Here's the NBC Tower, the ice cream museum is over there. There's the Jack Rickhouse statue. There's the Aeon building back in the back there, 333 Michigan, the London House over the Mather Tower. And there's the Wrigley building, Trump Towers behind it. And then the Ghirardelli, am I saying it right? I still don't know how to say it right. I never hear anybody else say it. How do you say Ghirardelli? Is it Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli, the chocolate place? And uh, there goes one. Here's the, uh, here's the Apple store. There's a tour guide. Yeah. See, there's a, a real live tours. You can go get real live tours. I give the virtual tours, so this is my version of the tour guide. You're all coming along with me. We do do it every day here. See, they're taking pictures by John Baptiste Point de Savo. Look at these beautiful dogs. How you doing? 
Okay, there's the Wrigley Building, the Gear Deli, Gear Deli. Yeah, yeah John Baptiste, Point de Sable. Got the pigeons. Yeah, somebody somebody put the graffiti on there. That's pretty bold. Look at the flags, look at the flags flying. Yeah, we'll see you again. Look at those flags fly. Michigan Avenue Bridge. We're still working on it. Yeah, you caught the end of it. So yeah, I'm about to wrap it up here. We, you're here just in time to see the Chicago River. People are loading up the tour boats. Happy Good Friday. He's taking a photo there. We're heading across the Gisalo, Michigan Avenue Bridge with all these people taking photos here. That's good. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Julie. Oh, that's what they I forget they and uh Yeah, it's gear 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 Donnie. Ge gear deli, gear deli, gear deli, thank you. Ghirardelli. I was saying Ghirardelli with like a J. It's like Ghirardelli. I'm close. It's a hard G with the ear. So Ghirardelli. I was saying Ghirardelli. So it's Ghirardelli. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out there. I never hear anybody say it. You know, we have the Blomber Chocolate Factory, which is shutting down here in Chicago. Of course, you know, it was Ghirardelli was where the, the uh, Hershey's store was near the water tower. And then they, they, after the pandemic, they moved down into the Wrigley building. The Hershey's moved out of town. I don't know where the Hershey's store is. There's the Wrigley, the Tribune. That's good. Well, you probably know better than I do. Here, we'll wait for the light to change here. We'll get, see if we get a, see we're at Wacker in Michigan here. There, we got the light. So there's the river here. But I'm going to, I'm going to head into work, work a few more hours and then meet my father and we'll have a nice, uh, week in here and I hope everybody does the same if you missed any part of this live you can watch the whole live rerun go to the live tab there on YouTube I usually stream on TikTok but I'm going to be taking some time off to spend with my father over the next week I do plan on streaming the attempting to stream the Eclipse and I want to enjoy it myself too with my father from his house he's going to be in the total totality there uh, for the solar eclipse that's coming up on April the 8th. But in between there and now, I'll be posting a bunch of reruns. I got a bunch of reruns. On Monday, I'll be live streaming on TikTok probably from 10 o'clock until 1 o'clock in the afternoon because that's when the Cubs home opener is. The Cubs home opener is on Monday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. I think it's a noon, a noon like a 12, 15 start time. And we'll see what the weather is because it's forecast rain for that day. But it depends on how, how heavy the rain is. I can handle drizzle if it's not downpour. I don't want to damage my equipment. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. But hey, Sharon, happy Easter. Have a blessed Easter, everybody. Krista, Crystal Blue Funk, yeah, have a great weekend. Happy Easter for those that celebrate and those that don't. Have a good weekend nonetheless. And uh, happy... Uh, have a good Friday and enjoy the spring weather. Hopefully, wherever you're at, Texas, Tennessee, all over the nation, all over the world. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, we might see, well, we'll, we'll, I'll see you either way on Monday. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll do some type of live on Monday, even if it's raining. We'll try to do the Cubs home opener. And it's only if the game's canceled that it'll be a totally washout, which is. They'll do everything they can to get that game in for opening day. Home opener, the home opener. Cubs already started playing. They lost to um, Texas Rangers last night. That was an extra inning game. There, there's the uh, Carbide and Carbon building. These beautiful vintage skyscrapers here in Chicago. And uh, it's nice to see so many people out and about here on Michigan Avenue. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah, I'll have fun with that, child. Donna, Julie, Sharon, Christy, Dia. Yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks for understanding. I hope you have a good time. See you, Chris, Patricia, Julie, Crystal Blue Funk, Krista, J Cat, Adriana. Yeah. Julie, everybody else. I'm saying people's names twice. I'm Michael. Even Kevin. J Cat. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Patricia, Angel. We'll see you all later. Have a good day. Krista. And uh, we'll find out who that LL person was thanks for if you block them thanks for that i appreciate it talk to y'all later have a good day